We're in the prep stages for our uh, food service competition. Uh, right now we're just bringing out the tents, checking them, making sure everything's okay with them. And then loading them up on the seven tons and dragging them out to the field. So what we're prepping for, the event that we're gonna be taking part in over the next week is a food service competition, WPT Hill. We won the first round, so now we're moving on to the second round where we compete against whoever wins uh, from the states, West Coast, East Coast. And then if we win that, then we win the whole competition for all of the Marine Corps. When we set up, it's pretty much the same thing. We have our EFK set up, um, a mess day, mass participation. The, the important thing is like Marine understanding, like you go somewhere, then understand the gear, how to set up when we're on a deployment, then know what to do with the gear, pretty much. It's pretty much just for us, it's a gun and what to do with the gear but also competing that with other few men that we know what we're doing so show that we're the best of the best. We are the best. Like we have Marines that they never worked with the gear before. It's taking a slow time but at the same time it's going speed because they're learning how to set up an LME tent. Because we have Marines that they do admin, they do something else and they don't know how to set up an LME tent or a 305 tent. So that's a good thing that everybody, every MOS got the experience of how to use the gear. The purpose of today is to evaluate this mess hall or this field mess to see if they are the best field mess in the Marine Corps. And each of the MEFs and the reserves participate in this, although the reserves are a separate category. And uh, kind of what we get out of this is it allows the Marines to showcase their abilities, their technical skills. But this is also not just food service, this is really a command function because it takes more than just food service to put on a successful field mess. You have the engineers, you have the electricians. There's a lot, you have guard force, there's a lot of work that goes into this, and uh, they're doing a great job out there. The grading system, we look at sanitation, we look at field site layout, we look at uh, security, um, we look at are they using the money that we give them for subsistence correctly, uh, and it all just kind of comes together into one thing and then uh, puts out a grade after that. The end state is that we want our food service marines to be able to execute an expeditionary mission in an expeditionary environment. So this gives them another training opportunity, but then the, by virtue of this competition and them raising, raising this up, what we want is for them to take this out to the field. And when they provide field, field food service support for the marines, we want them to take what they learned here and then raise it up and provide a better product for the marines out in the field.